All right, guys. Uh, so I'm making this video uh, to uh, you know I deal with a lot of carrier systems, and uh, I wanted to make this quick video and uh, give you guys an example of what happens when a tonnage is not set properly on here on the Easy Select board. So if you got here, it gives you options of what size tonnage that you put in your dip switch here or your pins. And uh, originally this pin was on 24, which is the two ton system. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, what my pressures looked like, uh, you know, when it was set to this pin, because uh, I have a three ton system upstairs. And uh, my pressures were weird. I'll show you the photo in a second. And then I kind of found that the pin was in the wrong location. So I put it back to the three ton. And uh, on this easy select board for carrier. Uh, so I went back up, closed everything up, uh, check, recheck the pressures. Then I'll show you what the pressures look right after I set the pin properly. So everything looks good. Pressures are back to the pressures are normal. When I first had the pressures, I thought you know I had high superheat and high subcooling. Uh, made me believe I had a bad TXV, but I had to make sure these settings are set properly because if they're not it will definitely throw the pressures off uh, into this coil and it's a TXV so by setting this proper de uh, pins on the easy select board it makes a huge difference on what your pressures are going to be so obviously if we're on the 24 2 ton you know fan doesn't run uh, runs a lot slower so we're not moving enough air into that coil and we're not uh, changing state for the uh, refrigerant. So, all right, guys. So, make sure these are set properly. And just by pressures, you see the pressures I took. You see what happened. So, hope you guys like this one. And I'll see you on the next one.